Oh my god, do you see what time it is? I'm looking at 9.03 and it's 3.15, it's March 15th, it's March Madness. Selections have happened and I'm going to show you how to run your brackets. I'm Ken and this is the March Madness bracket in Excel. It's the men's basketball bracket, it's for March Madness. You know how to use it. So everything's set up, there's a download link in this email. Um, I've got all the teams in here. This is the one that you'll send out to your entrance if you're running a pool. If uh, if you're running a pool and you've run one through one of my brackets in the past, you know the drill. This is what you start out with. This is the file that you send out to everybody, and then they're going to send it back to you after they fill it out. And a couple things to note about filling this thing out. The games in yellow are the games that haven't been decided yet. There's Hampton versus Manhattan over here. Uh, this game right here in the, uh, what is that, the West Division. Xavier's gonna play either Brigham Young or Mississippi. Ole Miss, actually, I think I should be calling them. I think I have them down as Mississippi. Duke's gonna play North Florida or Robert Morris. And I have this whole thing locked so that you can only really click on cells that you need to. That's why it's jumping around real fast. Boise State plays Dayton over here. So, you know, you pick out all the games. I'm not gonna do it because it's boring to go through it. Um, but people pick them all out. And when they do, the results are going to come over here, and then you're going to grab them and throw them into your master bracket, which I'm going to show the master bracket in another video because there's a lot of people that just use this bracket and really don't want to use the master. So you'll see a link in the bottom eventually here later tonight uh, when I put up the master bracket, and that's going to save you hours and hours and hours of scoring. That's what I originally set this up for, is to set up the master bracket. A couple other things I'd like to note. There's a total points for the championship game as a tiebreaker, so you can enter in a number here. And also, this is a little confusing. This is the championship winner cell right here. And this is for the winner of the West Midwest game. And then this one's for the winner of the South and East game. So, you know, as long as they put a name up here, there shouldn't be anything in red. Everything should get filled in. The other addition to this file, which is a new thing this year, is uh, doing a little matchup analysis, right? So, say you got a game you don't know what to do, like uh, one of these eight and nine seeds, Oregon versus Oklahoma State. What you can do here is you can choose those teams, you can choose them from the drop down list. Oregon and O, there's Oregon. And the other one was Oklahoma State. So that's this cell. Let's look for Oklahoma State. So here's how they match up. What you see is uh, the number of wins and losses. Uh, Oregon's got a lot more wins. The win percentage is much better. Their points per game is better. Their opponent's points per game is a little worse. So Oklahoma State may have a better defense, but I guess I would probably choose Oregon based on these stats. And these are just basic, you know, I'm not going player by player. I didn't go too crazy because I have, I, I just didn't put in <laughs> tons and tons of hours into figuring out who wins because I, I actually never enter a tournament any year. I just do this for hundreds and thousands of other people that use it. I never really enter one of myself. So it's for you guys, but I did do that there to help. So I'd probably choose Oregon if I was going to. Now, when you're done with this, so this thing's locked. If you need to unlock this and you're in most versions of Excel, you're just going to go to Review, and then you have this Unprotect Sheet option right here. And if you unprotect it, you're going to be able to click anywhere, and you're also going to be able to grab this range that you're going to need if you're running a master bracket. You're going to choose the Apex range from up here, this thing called Apex, and then you're going to copy this area, and these are going to go into the master bracket that you're filling out. Um, so I would leave it protected. I just go to just protect again and just press OK and it's going to protect everything and, and only really let people click in the cells they should be clicking in. The, um, I recommend sending it out protected just because people will try to change names for the teams and that's not going to work because the teams need to be streamlined names so you don't want them changing any of the names. They are allowed to pick the winner of the uh, playing games though obviously. So um, that's the bracket so far and I'll get the master brackets out later. And uh, if you want one, you want a master bracket, send me an email. I'm starting a list. There's a lot of people on it. And I'm taking the people that, that offer me something, I'm giving them first and the freebies I'm giving later. So if you want to offer me something, you'll get ahead of, on the list. That'll help. And uh, you'll see more updates from me this week. So happy March Madnessing. A lot, lot of research to do on these teams. Ken Stocks out.